welcome back to our youtube channel today i will show you how to save your files permanently or either on your google drive or your dropbox or crowd storage before i proceed remember to subscribe like and share turn on your notification bell for new videos i'll go straight to the illustration for my case i'll be storing my data on the google drive so i'll have to open my email account where under the top right corner there is a checked box where i open and I'll drop down to drive. Where I'll click on the drive. It will take me through to the home page. Where on this option it gives you an option. Either you can save a, a new folder, a file upload or folder upload. Now I want to upload a, a file. So I'll go and choose for the file on my PC. Then I'll upload. Before you upload it, you show up how many files they are containing on the folder that you want to upload. You confirm the items. Then I'll upload. It will show you on the right bottom corner the files that you are uploading and the period that you take to upload the files. You can either wait for the upload to complete or you can either to leave it as it is uploading then go back to my drive where i'll go under folders option then i will see the folder that i've uploaded as per the name over there i'll click on the three dots then i'll right click under the share option it has two options you can either share directly or you copy the link so i'll choose under share the share option it gives you the, the permission on who you want to send the link to now, now under the general access you open up the restriction now you share to everyone so after getting the link you can be able to share either via your email address maybe to the recipient that you want to send or you can either share the link to the via whatsapp so having the link it's flexible so who, to whoever person that you send the the link he or she will be able to access the the folder on the other side in that particular type it helps you to save files permanently after you have shared the file either via WhatsApp or via your email, whenever you click the link, you take you to the storage where you sold the file. And it's always safe for you each and every time you want to recover or you want to look for your files that you have saved. I hope the video is educative. I will see you in our next video.